Hey guys, welcome back. This is the first installment of the uh, Subaru wiring harness modification video series. And um, I'm going to start off with a rerun. I uh, published this video about two years ago and um, gone, went through it and uh, re edited um, some things to make it a little more uh, applicable to the harness series here. But it's still really good information, so it's going to show a 1995 Subaru Legacy wagon uh, harness being pulled. And so that's going to be the first video. The second video is going to be um, essentially identifying um, or actually weeding out the, um, the harness that we pull from the vehicle. And the third video will be identifying any of the loose wires and then we're going to move on to um, the ECU pinout and then forming the harness itself like where do you make connections things like that so um, I hope you enjoy this uh, rerun Okay guys, so now we're moving on to the wiring harness in the engine compartment. So we'll zoom in here. Okay, so we've got this here. This was kind of on the left side of the engine bay. Um, it's the cruise control um, controller. Um, we've got the MAF sensor as well. And then this side swung around to the uh, the driver's side of the uh, of the engine bay, and it included the uh, igniter and uh, the starter cable, and then uh, just some grounds. Which and that goes through this grommet right here. And once we get inside, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and pop that out. The other grommet right here, which I've kind of popped, um, that contains. The engine wiring, so the engine cables, the oxygen sensors, and uh, managed to pull that oxygen sensor out from the middle of the car. And um, the other side of the engine bay over here, once again we have the uh, alternator cables. So a bit of a gap in the footage here, but I managed to remove the dash and um, Basically, uh, there are just a few bolts on the side here. There are a couple bolts along uh, the windshield and uh, some on the other side over there. And um, there's a, uh, a brace that goes across that's kind of a pain that you have to uh, unbolt from this side. It has a little clamp that goes over. Unbolt that. Unbolt the far side right about where my finger is right about there and then what I do since it takes a very specialized um, uh, security screw right there I just cut with a hacksaw the portion of the uh, the structural beam and uh, that seems to um, work, do the trick so as you can see the uh, the heater blower is just about ready to come out it's just a few bolts just or nuts just on these studs across the way there's a couple down underneath as well and um, the AC condenser I've pulled out and the heater box is about to fall out and then we just have to take out the actual uh, the actual um, heater core so we're going to go ahead and work on that and then start pulling all of the wiring harness through from the engine side. All of the heater boxes are out now, um, the heating and air conditioning that is. I've peeled up the carpet to reveal the cover plate for the, um, for the computer. So it's just these uh, four nuts and bolts that need to come off. And uh, I've kept the... Um, cruise control uh, brain which kind of sat right there um, just in case we want to install cruise control the grommets we're concerned with are this one 
the one back behind this huge clump of wires. The accessory sort of stuff we can just clip. This is coming from the steering wheel, so this is the ignition wiring and whatnot. These were some of the heater controls. So a lot of this wiring just doesn't translate to our Subaru swap into a Volkswagen. So we're just going to get started kind of pulling things into the cabin here and then uh, disconnecting and taking out the computer. Uh, kind of midway through the wiring harness uh, pull, I have uh, pulled the two feeds out of the uh, engine compartment there. Um, and they're all kind of just hanging out down here. Uh, I pulled the computer and this is the uh, big cable in the 95. The uh, the 95 start was the first year they started putting the uh, computers on the um, passenger side foot rest area. Uh, all the rest of the years uh, prior to that are kind of over here um, on the A pillar of the driver's side. So I'm going to continue uh, pulling this wiring harness out. Here is the empty uh, cockpit that does not have the wiring harness. It has been pulled out and uh, I'll show you what the harness looks like basically and laid out as if it were in the car and show you everything that you need to keep. Well, as seen um, in the basic layout uh, in the car here more or less uh, we'll start with the computer and we're uh, gonna just move forward and uh, follow the path so we have the uh, computer and its cable it goes to the main harness which is kinda right in here this is all the main harness off of the main harness just a quick little side loop is the cruise control controller coming back to the main harness here we go to the first grommet and that contains the engine connectors these big gray plugs and the oxygen sensors uh, connections so that's the front one then we'll follow the rear one back to where it is so let's zoom out a little bit go back to the main harness let's go to the second grommet this one has the igniter on it as well as just some grounds that I like to keep together coming back we go to the cruise control component here and then we continue and we come to the mass airflow sensor Okay, let's come back to the main harness then we'll cruise left and we come to the uh, select monitor cable and the uh, diagnostic connectors and back to the main harness and we'll continue then we break off here we come down and we have the OBD2 connector I just cut it out of the panel just because I kinda like uh, this bracket and I may trim it down so that I can mount it uh, near the computer okay we'll come back up to the main harness and we need the um, the ignition relay and the fuel pump relay. Ignition relay is the big brown and the fuel pump relay is the green here. Come back to the main harness and we continue. This is uh, the lead that goes through the, the left fender um, out toward um, the um, main fuse box in the uh, engine compartment and the only ones we're concerned about are the alternator cables so We'll just follow that. And you'll see a big chunk cut off. That's from the um, main relay box in the engine compartment. And then we continue and we have our alternator cables. And that's, that's it for the wiring harness. Let's throw it in a box and work on it later.